there, Monarch Nation. I'm Ted Alexander. Welcome to the latest edition of Wake Up with Wilder, our weekly look at the Old Dominion football program with the head coach. This close, coach. Mm -hmm. This close. And we're finding out here in 2017 how close you are between victory and defeat. It can come down to a play or two. Yeah, it really can. And what, what an amazing game, Ted. I mean, think about all the things we saw in this game. We had two kickoff returns for touchdowns. We had... We had a fake punt that we converted that led to a critical field goal right before the half. We had two block punts, one of them that they took back for a touchdown. There was just so many things back and forth. But what I'm most proud of with our team, Ted, as frustrating as we all are with, with losing, um, is the, the toughness, the mental toughness they showed being down by 18 early in the second quarter and battle all the way back uh, and take the lead. And for the second week in a row, we just could not find a way to make that one play that we needed in the fourth quarter. But uh, as I told the team after the game, Ted, that uh, tough times don't last forever. Tough people with good character last forever. What was the key down 28-10 that kept the guys involved? I have a feeling it wasn't just a Saturday thing. It's a Monday through Sunday thing that you, you work on. Oh, absolutely. That, that Having that toughness, that resiliency. We're playing the number one team in the West, good football team. And um, the, the real spark was Harper, those two kickoff returns. Because down 28-10, he takes it back for a touchdown. And now it's 28-17, and you get some momentum back. That was right after they blocked the punt for the touchdown, Ted. So within 15 seconds, we returned the momentum. And Having those momentum type of plays was big keeping us in this game. The development of quarterback Stephen Williams is something we're keeping an eye on all year long. How was his day? Yeah, it was from, from the start. We weren't having success early in the game. They played a lot of man coverage and just a combination of, of the inability for us to get open and Stevie to get the ball to the receiver. But in the second half, Ted, from the end of the, the, that last drive of the second quarter through the second half, he was 12 for 16 uh, in the second half. He had the one interception. The ball got tipped by a defensive lineman up in the air, caught it himself, which is one of those random plays. Um, but he was in command of the offense. He ran for 55 yards, 45 yards last week against Western Kentucky, career high. 55 yards this past week. He's starting to gain comfort with that ability to run it. He threw it much better. His completion percentage uh, is improving. He's getting better. You dump the bad, take the good from North Texas, and you focus on Charlotte this week. It's homecoming. Yeah, that's always an exciting time, Ted. We've got an alumni event Friday night. Our former players coming back. Even though we don't have a lot of alumni, we're, we're rallying them together. Homecoming, as you mentioned, for all the alumni to come back, enjoy the university, see all the progress, the incredible progress, Ted, that's going on all around our campus. It's always a great weekend. So what do you want to have Monarch Nation focusing on this week? need a lot of energy from them. We're going to have a lot of energy. We're excited to come home. We want to win this football game. All it takes is one, Ted. We get that one win, particularly as well as we've played the last two weeks in spurts. I mean, really good spurts of football. Get that one win. Get everybody excited. Look forward to seeing you on Saturday at Foreman Field at S.B. Ballard Stadium. 3.30 kickoff, Old Dominion versus Charlotte. For the coach, Bobby Wilder, I'm Ted Alexander. This has been Wake Up with Wilder on Monarch Media.